Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I'm joined here in studio with Josh Owens. And Josh and I just got back from the Bundy Ranch in Nevada, the showdown at Bunkerville. This was an amazing precedent. For so long, I've been following these stories. I've seen people brutalized. I've seen martial law enacted one place after the other. I've seen them incrementally taking people's rights away, whether it's their free speech rights, whether it's their Fourth Amendment rights, their Sixth Amendment rights, their Second Amendment rights, even their First Amendment rights. The government is taking all of our rights, taking our property rights. That was what was at stake here. This was much, much bigger than just one rancher and his grazing fees and the tortoises that they were using as a pretense to shut these ranchers down. Now, we've got uh, Josh Owens we're going to be talking to this half hour. At the bottom of the half hour, Alex Jones is going to be joining us. And at the top of the next hour, we're going to be joined with Jerome Corsi. And he's going to be talking about the massive crony capitalism that is actually motivating these corrupt politicians to do these types of things to people. And we're going to be talking about how it's not just here, but it's many, many other places. According to his research and according to reports that we've had at InfoWars here, he wrote a story. We wanted to get him on to talk about the extensive tentacles of the Chinese government, the deals that they're making with Obama to sell off the uh, land, to give them title to the land because they now essentially own America with this debt that they've bought up. So it's a big story. This is being used like carbon credits. The Bundy Ranch had two things going for it. One of them was that they needed to get them out of there. One of them was that they needed it for essentially carbon credits for mitigation, as they call it. As they were going to develop these projects throughout the area, whether it's uh, solar power projects or whether it is mining uh, minerals or fracking or whatever, for all the things that they wanted to do to the land that the government claims ownership of, they wanted to have the Bundy area used as a mitigation area, as a place that was going to be extra pristine. The other part about it was that he had grazing and water rights. And if the federal government can come in and take his grazing and water rights that his family has had for generations, they can come in and take your rights at your suburban home. They've already done it with yes. the property taxes that, exactly. weren't, that weren't in all 50 states the last 30 years. Yes. You do not own your house. That's right. And it's the same thing with this. Washington Times just came out, and they basically have Harry Reid's people. It's up on DrudgeReport.com admitting that it was the stories coming out about Reid connected to this is why the orders came down. And that's the liberals saying that because they're like, your guns didn't make us back down. <laughs> Harry Reid told us to. Well, no kidding. That's, that's why right. we did this so there wouldn't be bloodshed. That's right. On Friday, I was trying to figure out a way to try to not have a standoff and a bunch of killing. And I'm not taking credit. I'm uh, All I'm saying is we dug into Reed. He was involved, Drudge Link to it. It was the number one story Saturday on the internet, the number fifth story uh, on Sunday. Well, the story broke as we were talking in overdrive. And then we went down and, and gave the information to the sheriff's office. Then we called up the BLM on a teleconference and gave them the information. Here's and the then article. everything changed overnight. Here's the article right here. And it's later in here where they admit it all. Wow. Anyways, you so guys stop. Get Josh's take on, I want to hear from Josh what it was like sure. coming right. up in the next segment. You know, that's the key. What was it like being on the ground there, uh, you know, hearing the loudspeaker uh, saying, you know, we will shoot when you march through there? Because that, that's the key. But I'll quit bugging you guys. It's just, it's just very, very exciting to, to see, you know, all, all of this unfolding. So, Josh, when we were there on Friday, they had already taken down the signs. They were not backing back, even on Friday, even as people were accumulating. But we had just gone with the story that Kit Daniels wrote. We had just, Alex had covered it uh, as we were talking to him live at the site. He covered it in overdrive. He's very excited about it. And from there, we went down to Nevada 
And now we're out of time. I'm going to be right back with Josh. I was about to give him a chance to say something. He's going to break down for you what he saw. I've been talking about what I saw. We'll be right back with Josh. Alex is going to be joining us at the bottom of the hour. And Jerome Corsi is going to be talking to us about what the Chinese are doing all across the country. And by the way, you guys kind of look like Confederate generals together in here. <laughs> I think that's racist. Cut the beards off. <laughs> The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize Realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water. For your preparedness storage or your home kitchen, purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com the Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Welcome back to The Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'm joined in the studio with Josh Owens. And the two of us have just returned from the Nevada, the Bunkerville, Nevada standoff between uh, federal agents from the BLM and the Bundy family. Now, it's, there's an interesting story that's just come up on the Washington Times. And they are saying that the, uh, it left little doubt that there was a highly charged episode was threatening to become a political headache for the Nevada Democrat. They have a quote uh, says, uh, based on information, well, this is actually the, uh, the statement that uh, Corns put out. They said it was likely pressure from upstairs rather than weapons from the field that changed his mind on the matter. This is Americans Against the Tea Party. That's a liberal group that said that. So they believe that it was Harry Reid that made this stand down because the order, Josh, came from the guy who had been his senior policy advisor, who is now the director at the BLM, uh, Neil Corns. And he's the one that called the stand down. And, and of course, Neil Corns has been a Harry Reid guy from the very beginning. And he also has extensive connections with the uh, in the mineral industry. His father uh, was uh, worked with a lot of gold and mining companies. He sits on the board of directors of very many mining companies. He's all about getting 
the resources in that area that the federal government is claiming ownership of. But we saw a dramatic turnaround. When we were there on Friday, and I want you to, to talk about this, when we were there on Friday, they had already taken down the cattle crossing guards, even though there was a lot of national press. And even by Friday, CNN was there pushing back against what was really going on. They were trying to push the government's narrative. You had a lot of national press there by that time. Uh, as, as In addition to us, they, they had put in uh, Fox News and CNN had shown up. But they were moving forward with their agenda. And then as we were talking live to Alex here, Kit Daniels brought up the story. And again, it was something that was first reported on a couple of years ago. But what Kit Daniels found were the connections between these solar projects that they wanted to do and the Bundy Ranch being a mitigation area where they were going to use it like carbon credits. And then we went down to, uh, Nevada, to uh, Las Vegas to the sheriff's office, told them what happened there. <laughs> well, I'm sure people have seen the video, and if not, you can look, you can see it. It's on the website. It's on YouTube. We walk in and ask a simple question, and they were unprepared to answer a question. I mean, that was their job. Mm -hmm. It was their job to answer questions, and they weren't prepared to do it. So they wanted to speak with us outside, and they showed well, us the Well, the amazing thing that really got me angry, we went down basically to give them information. We we're going to ask a rhetorical question about this corruption and the right. links to it. And, of course, we knew that Sheriff Gillespie had deep, long ties with Harry Reid. Anybody that's in high office there has ties to Harry Reid, okay? And we wanted to talk to him about the fact that Harry Reid's son was a lobbyist. You know, we, we wanted to essentially present the facts to him that, we had, that Kit Daniels had put into the story. He kind of cut us off and said, if this is about the rancher, we've got nothing to say. And I said, well, then give me your press release. They didn't even have a press release. But go ahead. That, well, At that point, it got us really angry when he said, let's talk about this outside. <laughs> yeah, well, and it should have. It should yeah. have. I think the biggest thing that people who weren't there, people who don't, something that people didn't realize is that it took a lot of courage for this family to yes. stand up and keep saying no. Yes. No, we're not going to pay the fees to the federal government. Uh, and then they surround their house and no, we're not going to stop. And then they come and they, they throw their sons on the ground. They um, arrest them. They tase them. They uh, throw the woman with cancer. They sling her and slam her onto the ground. That was all like Monday and Tuesday. This was as the story was breaking nationally. Yeah. You know, this has been going on, of course, for 20 years. Yeah. Uh, and, but it's just now that they're coming in. And that's another thing that tells us something about that. And that's the timing. First, solar just broke ground with Harry Reid in another area, and they've got right there in Nevada, and they need this area to have their quote-unquote solar mitigation to keep this pretense about protecting the tortoises there, as well as to get his, to take the last rancher standing to take his rights. That's what they've been doing all this time. It's that kind of incrementalism that they do against all of us. Yeah, well, I think that bottom line, we see so many people who are ignorant and so many people who uh, don't have that fight aren't willing to stand up because they believe that they don't have power or a lot of them just don't care. But then when you go and you see these kind of people are willing to stand up and they're willing to, I mean, they were not going to back down and they're still not going to back down. They've come out and they've said, yeah, we, we know that the war isn't over. That's right. The war isn't over. It was a battle. We won this battle. And when they come again, we're going to do the same thing again. That, that's the thing that, that I'm concerned about. I see a lot of people pushing back. and they, they say, you think this is over? Of course we don't think it's over. We know it's not over. They know it's not over. The battle for America is not over. We still have a system here where we've got many, many government agencies, uh, a whole alphabet soup of government agencies who are writing their own laws, who have their own militarized police force, who have their own courts. You have no presumption of innocence. This is the problem. It's not just the people who, this is an Agenda 21 portion, but they've got so many different areas where they're doing the same thing. Just look at the income taxes. Tomorrow's April 15th. Okay, look at how just this last week, they broke a story that the IRS is going to go back and tax people for tax debts that their parents had. So they've always come after spouses for debts that their spouses have had, even if uh, you know, people are separated. Now they're going to come after you for things that they presume that your parents had. And that's the kind of thing we see, that kind of encroachment that we see going on and on. How do we stop that? Well, I think we stop it just like these people stopped the federal government from coming in and taking their land up until now. And obviously it's not over, but we don't, I mean, these people could have started, they could have started paying their grazing fees. They could have said, well, 
you know, it's not, you know, it's not worth our time. It's not worth our energy because obviously it would have been easier for them, not in the long run, because they're going to incrementally keep taking everything and everything and everything. Yes. There's nothing left. And they understood that. Yeah. And, the, and, but this family could have just said, well, we'll pay our fees and then we'll be able, you know, I mean, we'll be able to have our time. We'll be able to sit inside and, you know, we'll be able to relax. And that's, I mean, that wasn't the case. I mean, if, if you saw this family, they were exhausted. I mean, they were to the point yes. where, I mean, of course, I'm, I'm sure that they're tired of, of, of this going on, but they're not going to stop.